Look at my filthy eyes. Um, today was not such a good day. Well, from the pain last night, you know, I this is what it was. I don't know what they do, but they gas us or they drug us or something like that, and then within seconds, we pass out. Sometimes a few minutes, but within seconds, you feel tired as hell, you know. Besides that, they gave me pain. And that pain that I had, like, yeah, when I was crying out, when I told you about the, what do you call it, holograms and shit? Yeah, that pain, it still hurt. You know what I mean? It hurt the next day. You know, the zinging and stuff. But not like it did that night. Well, anyways, I got gas. Fucking, whatever you gas me with this time, made me feel pain. You know, like in my joints, and, you know, like, but not the same kind as when they got high radiation on and stuff like that when they're broadcasting. And they, I guess, use a lot of shit to broadcast because it sends out radiation to me. And well, anyways, so, there was a time when I felt like I had a hangover. And it was the day after I get, got gassed, or however they put this shit in me. Yeah, it was the day after. So, I'm thinking that possibly that's what made me feel so sluggish and like, feel like this today, right? But then, check this out, you know. I went to go lay back down, and I heard, you know, people like gathering stuff up, and, you know, yeah. And working, working on this place, you know, it sounded like it was inside there, freaking down there, who knows, it sounded like it was in the hall. So I went out, so I figured, oh, perfect opportunity to, you know, take my trash out because everybody's like running around doing something to fix this place. Either fix it and enhance it so they could broadcast me more and see me more and fuck with me more and hurt me more. Or maybe they're taking it down. You know, that would be awesome because this stuff in the first place caused pain and freaking just made shit change you know and um you know when you see stuff changing physically in your apartment and stuff and you've been there you know every crack and, you know it kind of flips you out especially when the first part of it when you're going through the crazy stage you know but um them changing my apartment and you know not fixing it and freaking uh, you know, these weird ass holes that I'd see everywhere, you know, ones, and I noticed them right away started appearing because I know what little holes my furniture had done. I know there was nothing wrong with the flooring. There was one tiny burn hole in there. No, nothing, nothing else for all those years. Everybody used to ask me, how do you keep your floor like that? You know, yeah, I, I accidentally, and it was a tiny burn, but you could tell it was burned from the inside, from this apartment. Not like these burns. They come up and out. They're not, you know, burned from this apartment. But, what did I think? Well, anyways, they were doing work, so, you know, I got my little old lady cart go to take it down and stuff and uh, somebody's in the closet it's not me yeah somebody's in the closet and the closet on this floor and you can hear them communicating 
you know, they're not talking to themselves like I do. Well, you know, I used to be the crazy lady that talked to herself. No, no, then I got a cat, so, you know. But, um, I'm communicating, you know. I went to the trash out and stuff. You know, seeing that there was a big, big trash, not a big trash bin, you know, like the, like, if it was a house, you know, how you'd have a trash, a big trash to move along and put stuff in. That kind of trash outside the manager's door. And then there was a box. But um, they've also been doing some kind of work downstairs. And then I told you about the work in the basement. But, um, yeah. And well, anyways, so I came in here and stuff, and, you know, all of a sudden it started sounding like it's coming from here, people were drilling, and people were doing all kinds of shit. And then right here, too, we live the world. You know, it sounds like it, but nobody's in the hall, you know? And, you know what I did? It's what I do once in a while. Because I'm entitled to my right. And I don't get them. And, you know, I hear, you know, these people that terrorize me and stuff, bits and pieces and stuff, you know, and, you know, they talk like they can see me, so I took off, I took off my bra. Because if I'm not in the way of the window, because as soon as I started hearing all that and gathered up my old lady cart to take the trash, you know, I took the board off the window. The window's open, we got a board in there. Uh, took the board off the window, and, um, yeah, when I laid down and stuff, I took off my shirt. I wasn't in, you know, what should be a view of an open doorway or an open window, so I should have privacy. And I heard somebody yell, she took a bra off! <laughs> You get me? What the fuck? You know? And I figure, hey, you know, like in the bathroom, it's off limits. You know, but we got the people next door on that, you know, on the other side of the fucking wall, you know, whatever. And um, I figure, you know what? I have privacy. Assumed privacy, if you have a lease or not. You know, whether there be a Patriot Act or something like that, um, activism and care, what a court case. You stand on your civil rights, they'll stop everything. So I gotta start listening to him and getting the, what do you call it, the such and such versus such and such and such. Yeah, he lays it all out for you. And, um, tells you step by step how to do shit. But, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I could feel it working on something. But, so I went to, you know, I felt like a hangover. And I, I figured it must be when, you know, when they gassed me or whatever last night. So I went to sleep and I woke up and I couldn't get off the floor. I mean, I was in pain, I felt. Vibrations, shocks, freaking, 